weirdest has lived here for three million years. It lumbers through the undergrowth, a one meter high plant eater, a close relative of the rhino and the horse, with a snout like an elephant's trunk. This is the tapir. It's well equipped for a life of browsing. At over 200 kilos, he's the Amazon's largest herbivore. With a nose finely tuned for sniffing out edible plants. Essential when many of the forest plants tend to be tough, toxic or low in calories. Spending hours wandering through this hostile environment in search of food is hard work for a heavy tapir. But it has to eat huge quantities to produce enough energy to survive. Some animals find a meal by hardly moving at all. A nearby stream looks peaceful, but appearances are deceiving. Camouflaged body armor is a useful asset for an ambush predator. Hidden in the leaf-littered shallows, it waits patiently for an opportunity. The Matter Matter Turtle. This bizarre creature has been polishing its deadly tactics for millennia. Its name, Mata Mata, simply means kill. It remains motionless. But as a reptile, it must breathe air. The Mata Mata does that by extending its specially adapted neck, moving slowly to avoid detection. and using its snout as a snorkel. When a fish gets close enough, the matter matter opens its huge mouth, creating a vacuum. sucks in its victim faster than the blink of a human eye. Farther down the river, an unlikely resident of the Amazon waterways abandons the shrinking lagoons of the dry season and heads into open, deeper waters. This is a male Amazon river dolphin. Most dolphins live in salt water, but this species adapted to the rivers long ago. Now the entire basin is his playground. Like other dolphins, he uses sonar to hunt. That comes in handy in these murky waters. But unlike his marine cousins, unfused bones in his neck make it much more flexible. A crucial adaptation when he hunts in smaller rivers often choked with tangled vegetation and tree roots. Males and females stay apart for most of the year. But now, at the height of the dry season, this dolphin has come to a wide stretch of water, looking for a mate. When he finds a promising female, he begins a strange courtship dance. The male tosses a piece of driftwood around, perhaps to attract the female's attention. If she accepts him, 
pair will mate. The female will move into small lakes and lagoons nearby. Quieter backwaters that will provide food and shelter as she awaits the arrival of her single calf. Towards the end of the dry season, the river levels are at their lowest, exposing broad sandbanks. For one huge and ancient creature, this new and temporary landscape offers a brief opportunity essential to their future survival. Female giant Amazon river turtles are on the move. They're powerful swimmers and may travel great distances. The females come to the same stretches of the river year after year. They search for the highest spots on the beaches to lay their eggs. Finely grained sand makes these banks perfect for laying eggs. More than a meter long and weighing up to 90 kilos, the giant females drag themselves out of the water to bask in the sun. The temperature of the sand rises during the heat of the day. The hot sand will act like an incubator, speeding up the growth of the eggs. But it's dangerous. The Amazon's top predator is on the prowl. With one of the strongest bites of all big cats, a jaguar can easily puncture a turtle's shell. The females retreat to the safety of the water. The jaguar can wait. But the turtle's clock is ticking. Under cover of darkness, one turtle seizes her moment. Once the hole is dug, she lays her eggs and covers them gently with sand. If all goes well, they will hatch in six weeks. Her timing is crucial, and there is little margin for error. In a few weeks, the rains will return, and the beaches will be washed away. Precious eggs must hatch before then. It's a precise timetable and the turtles have followed it for countless generations. But the climate is changing here as it is elsewhere around the globe. If weather patterns shift before the turtles have a chance to adapt, they could be doomed to extinction. 